Hello there. Welcome to today's journey into the world of generative AI. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join us in exploring this fascinating universe of technology. Today we're talking about generative AI, a remarkable facet of artificial intelligence that's turning heads in the tech world. Imagine an AI that can generate new content, be it a piece of music, a painting, or even a novel, all without explicit instructions. That's generative AI for you, not just a mimic, but a creator in its own right. It's like an artist with a silicon brain, painting a canvas with data and algorithms. Generative AI is a subset of deep learning, a field that's all about teaching machines to learn like we humans do. It leverages machine learning techniques, particularly deep learning and neural networks, to create something out of nothing. It's a breakthrough in AI technology, shifting the focus from problem solving to creating new content. So buckle up as we dive deeper into the world of generative AI. To understand generative AI, we first need to understand where it fits in the grand scheme of artificial intelligence. So let's dive into it. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is an umbrella term that covers a hierarchy of different technologies. At the base of this hierarchy, we have machine learning. Machine learning is a type of AI that allows computers to learn from data and improve their performance over time, without being explicitly programmed to do so. It's like teaching a child to recognize shapes. You show them different shapes and over time, they learn to identify them. Moving up the hierarchy, we have deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that mimics the way our brain works, using something called artificial neural networks. It's like teaching a child to recognize shapes, but now they can also tell you why a square is not a circle. Deep learning can handle more complex tasks like natural language processing, image recognition, and even predicting what's going to happen next in a video. At the top of the hierarchy, we have generative AI. This is where things get really interesting. Unlike traditional AI, which focuses on specific tasks or problems, generative AI has the breakthrough ability to create new content. It's like that child we've been teaching about shapes suddenly starts drawing their own shapes. They're not just recognizing or predicting anymore, they're creating. This is the essence of generative AI. It's a form of deep learning, but it goes a step further, leveraging machine learning techniques to generate new content that feels original and creative. Common examples of generative AI include chatbots like ChatGPT, virtual assistants, and tools for image and video creation. But it's not just about creating digital content. Generative AI is also used in fields as diverse as drug discovery, gaming, financial analysis, and even creating artistic artifacts. Now that we know where generative AI fits in the AI hierarchy, let's explore how it works. The magic of generative AI lies in its models, the algorithms that enable it to create new content. Now let's dive into the world of generative models, the mathematical and computational engines that power generative AI. Generative models are really the heart and soul of generative AI. They use machine learning techniques, particularly deep learning and neural networks, to generate new content. This is a significant departure from traditional AI systems, which are designed to perform specific tasks or solve specific problems. Generative models, on the other hand, are all about creativity and innovation. Let's consider some examples of these models. One is ChatGPT, a language processing model that can generate human-like text. It's like having a conversation with an AI that can understand and respond to you in a way that feels remarkably human. Then we have virtual assistants, these models are designed to understand and carry out a wide range of tasks. From answering questions to setting reminders and playing music, they're becoming increasingly sophisticated and capable, and they're a great example of how generative AI can make our lives easier. Next up is DALI, a model designed for image generation. With DALI, you can give the AI a description of an image, and it will generate an image that fits that description. It's a truly remarkable example of the creative potential of generative AI. Finally, we have video creation tools. These models can generate videos based on a script or a set of instructions. They're transforming the world of video production, making it possible for anyone to create high-quality videos with ease. So there you have it. From text to images to videos, generative models are powering a new wave of AI creativity. They're not just about performing tasks or solving problems. They're about creating new content, pushing boundaries, and opening up new possibilities. With these models, generative AI is transforming various industries, as we'll see next. Now you might be wondering, where do we see generative AI in our day-to-day -day lives? 
Well, let's dive into some of the real-life applications of generative AI that are already changing the world around us. First up, voice generation. We've all interacted with virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa, right? Well, behind those seemingly human interactions is generative AI. It's what allows these virtual assistants to generate human-like responses, making our interactions with them feel more natural and less robotic. Next, let's talk about synthetic data generation. In the world of research and development, getting your hands on the right kind of data can be a challenging task. Generative AI comes to the rescue here by creating synthetic data that mimics real-world data. This not only speeds up the research process, but also maintains the privacy of individuals by not using their actual data. Now imagine this. Discovering a new drug without even stepping into a lab. Sounds impossible, right? Not with generative AI. It's being used to accelerate drug discovery by generating molecular structures and predicting their potential effects, thereby reducing the time and cost of bringing new drugs to market. But generative AI isn't just for the serious stuff. It's also making waves in the gaming industry. It's used to create diverse and dynamic game environments that adapt to the player's actions, enhancing the overall gaming experience. And let's not forget about art. Generative AI is giving birth to a new form of artistic expression by creating unique pieces of art. From music to paintings, it's pushing the boundaries of creativity, challenging our traditional notions of what art is and can be. In the realm of software development, generative AI is used to write code, identify bugs, and even suggest fixes. This not only speeds up the development process, but also reduces the likelihood of human error. And finally, in the world of finance, generative AI is used for financial analysis and forecasting. It's capable of processing vast amounts of financial data to generate accurate predictions, helping businesses make informed decisions. As you can see, generative AI is not just a concept, but a reality that's reshaping our world. From our day-to-day -day interactions to the way we conduct business, generative AI is making its mark in almost every sphere of life and it's only the beginning. With all these applications, one might ask, what does the future hold for generative AI? Indeed, the future is a fascinating subject, especially when we're talking about a field as dynamic and transformative as generative AI. As we stand on the brink of an AI revolution, the possibilities seem almost endless. Generative AI could redefine creativity as we know it, pushing the boundaries of art, music, and literature. Imagine an AI collaborator that can compose symphonies, write novels, or even create entirely new forms of art. Or consider the potential impact on industries like fashion or interior design, where AI could generate unique and personalized designs on demand. In the medical field, generative AI could revolutionize drug discovery, accelerating the development of new treatments and therapies. By generating synthetic data, AI could help researchers overcome limitations in data availability, speeding up scientific discovery across numerous disciplines. In the realm of technology, generative AI might be the key to creating truly intelligent virtual assistants, capable not only of understanding and executing commands, but also of generating original ideas and solutions. These AI assistants could become our partners in problem solving, offering fresh perspectives and insights. However, with great potential comes great responsibility. Generative AI also presents significant challenges and ethical considerations. As AI becomes more creative, questions arise about authorship and intellectual property. How do we ensure that AI-generated content is used ethically and responsibly? And as AI becomes more integrated into our daily lives, we must also consider issues of privacy and security. Despite these challenges, the future of generative AI is undeniably exciting. As we continue to explore and develop this technology, we can look forward to a world full of new possibilities driven by the power of artificial intelligence. The future of generative AI is bright and full of potential, but it's up to us to harness it responsibly. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the realm of technology. Leave us a comment saying, I have subscribed. Until next time, keep exploring.